Hey, what's going on guys? Wep here, bringing you another Iron Man progress video. So you guys saw in the last- Ooh, pure essence. Saw in the last episode, got myself my beautiful, beautiful Slayer helmet, and uh, the catacombs of Corind or whatever came out. And uh, I'm testing them out a little bit. I heard that these Banshees, as you can see, they're easily safe spotted and pretty AFK. I heard that you can get approximately one to two thousand, it's at least as many pure essence as you would get mining pure, uh, per hour, but you also, as you can see, are getting lots of herbs, lots of herb seeds, cosmic runes, I'm assuming they drop hard clues and stuff like this, so this is probably the method I'm going to use to get my pure essence up until I get maybe 85 or 90 range, then uh, I'm guessing that wyverns will become, wyverns and Zoro will become my main way, but yeah, trying these out, they seem pretty good, I've been here for yeah, actually quite a while, probably 20 minutes and I have 260, but either way, I mean, that's roughly amount of, about as much as I would be mining, which I think is around 12 to 1500 an hour or something like that, so yeah, this will probably be the way I do it, plus 40 cosmic runes, I mean, that's just jizz, anyway. Um, so in this episode, I'm going to be doing a lot of Slayer, and I might be going back to Barrows now that I have my Slayer Helmet I, which is, if you didn't know, oh, there we go, it is the, technically, like, the best helmet for Barrows, because it does give good defense and it gives mage and range bonus, so might do some barrows, try to finish off my arums, and um, maybe get a Varric skirt, who knows. Okay, first barrows chest back, and we get stuff. Chest number billion. Yay. I think I'm going to actually go back and hunt some more implings and get some more level 2 clues, because I'm really feeling the ranger boots hype right now. I, I, I don't know why, I just really feel like going back to Pyro. Okay, adamant plate skirt G or plate legs G. I don't think I need that whatsoever, but is a reward. I think I probably already have one. Nope, it's something new. Since when was this here? It must have been added somewhat recently because I know I've caught more than five dragon implants, but this, this is pretty cool. <laughs> 974 eclectic implants? Yeah, that seems about right. Oh, I thought that was a crozier. God damn. I was like about to freak out, but it's an adamant cane. I got my uh got my official pimp stick. I wanna say that's the same odds as Ranger Boots though, so I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that. 864 GP? Wow. This is a joke, right? Okay, got a random uh, hard clue from catching a magpie in there, but yeah, that's a, that's a pretty amazing reward right there. Okay, finish that garbage steel dragon task, and I, I didn't almost die. Let's let's not talk about it. Karask. God damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. All right, guys, we've got the Jad task. I'm gonna gear up. We're gonna slay him. Oh, so I went to get some one Zimrak so that I could boost and make some range potions for the fight caves. And my bank is full. This is going to be fun. Alrighty guys, this is the setup I'm going to be going with for now. Um, hopefully this is good enough. I am on a Slayer task, so I should be able to just shred my way through the, ta uh, the waves. I did manage to get a plus four boost with my stews. So yeah, let's, uh, let's get a fire cape. Alright, well, up to the Zex, couple waves in, completed a hard task, and I just realized that the cloak actually has one less prayer bonus than an already cloak too, so, I guess I'm behind the times a little bit, so, if I, um, if I run out of prayer points during, the f like, the Jad fight, then I'll know why. Okay, guys, uh, time for Jad. Now, this, the final thing spawned over here. So I want to say that's where Jad's supposed to spawn. But... You never know. So where is he? Come on! I do have my game sounds on, so don't, don't you worry. Hello? Jad? 
Okay, chat is there. Okay, so that helps. Helps a lot. Just gonna chill out and uh, hopefully not mess this up too bad. Yes. Oh, and 72 Slayer. Dude, that is the best. 85 something? Oh god, that's on the floor. Oh hell yes. We got the fire cape. <sighs> 85, 17. That is not a bad time, if I do say so myself. So, there we go guys. Finally, fire cape. First attempt. As you can see, I don't know if you could see, I probably sped that up a lot, but I actually did miss a flick, and I... I think he hit a zero, or I just got my prayer on it, like, literally the perfect time, but there we go, fire cape. Ah, I don't feel like a pathetic noob anymore. Just kidding. Okay, guys, we got aberrant specters. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and try out the ones in the new Slayer dungeon thing and see if they're any good, assuming somebody isn't just sitting there barraging them. Not really sure how I'm this stupid. But I was actually drinking prayer potion doses to try to restore my energy on the way here. Very confused as to how my brain works. Okay, third age spot, give me that Robin Hood hat. Nope, that is not a Robin Hood hat. Oh yeah, I forgot to record actually. Um, my recorder wasn't up right, so I did actually do a couple clues, and I did get a new ancient page and my first bandos page, so... Yeah, that's cool. Um, I'm actually going to open these eclectic complaints. I just finished a task. So I'm going to open those and hopefully a medium clue. I'll just do it. I'll just do it live right here. Oh, there's a medium clue. And I wasted a jar. Rip. That was a ballin' reward right there. Okay, guys. I actually have three ancient shards right now, so... What do you have to... I'm guessing it's like a dialogue box. I require additional power. Does that mean I need 75 attack? I know you need 75 attack to actually wield it. Do you also need 75 to create it? Huh. I'll have to look into that. Okay, apparently what you have to do is use the dark light on this altar. Here we go. That is the arc light. I do not have 75 attack, so I can't use that. Uh, I think after the strength level, I'm actually going to prioritize getting 75 attack, just because I'm not going to be soloing Zami anytime soon, so... Um, that could potentially boost me a lot of Slayer experience whenever I'm on Demon tasks. I might actually, depending on how good it is, I could unban Black Demons, but I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll have to see. Okay guys, got 167 Dagonoths again. Uh, I guess I will kill a few DKs. Not gonna, like, prioritize doing my whole task there or anything, but now that I do have the Slayer Helm, I have a little better defense bonuses, and, uh, my magic's a little bit higher, so potentially could get... A few more kills in a trip, so let's uh, go try that out. Okay, kill number one of the task. Clue scroll and tooth half. Okay, that's weird. Yes, I do know that Prime is on me. Uh, I usually just leave my protect magic on like the whole task. It's kind of risky, a little scary if I accidentally derp and turn my prayer off. I'm gonna die immediately, but I should be fine. I usually just keep my prayer on the whole time, so. And I, I lost like half my food trying to get down here, so eventually I just said, fuck it, Prime can be on me as long as Supreme isn't, so whatever. Please tell me that isn't rare drop table. I I hope that's not. Okay, I can confirm that is rare drop table, so that is two rare drop table drops right in a row. It's pretty awesome. Oh god, this is gonna be close, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close. Please. Ah, give me the ones. God. Okay, that was a rough trip. Uh was that seven kills? Not too great, but I did uh waste quite a bit of food just trying to get down there. I, honestly, doing this isn't very efficient. It's not a very good method. I might use a couple blood blitzes potentially and try that out. 
I do have a lot of runes, so I might I might try that out next trip and see how many how many uh, kills I can get with that. Well, guys, this is potentially the most unlucky any human being has ever gotten. I used this much food. These were all filled with sharks. I used that much food just trying to get down here. I was just getting wrecked, so hopefully Blood Blitz is just OP enough that I can stay down here for more kills, but yeah, that was uh, very unfortunate. Okay, Blood Blitz is just amazing. Um, definitely going to go ahead and use this for all of my kills. I might actually bring a Rune Crossbow and Black Dehide so I can actually kill Prime uh, just while I'm waiting for Rex to respawn, because I could probably kill it before Rex respawns. I won't bother with Supreme as of right now. I don't think I can kill all three uh, with my stats, but... I think killing those two would be definitely possible, so I'll, I'll try that out next trip. No! No! Ring of Life, number one. Rip. How many rare drops in a row is that? One, two, three... That's three in a row, and then we got the freaking tooth half last... Trip. Okay, last kill of the trip, and we get an Adamant Axe. But, uh, yeah, this definitely speeds this, or, uh, helps this out a lot. Uh, 13 kill trip, and I was on, I think, three sharks when I got in the room. So, yeah, definitely doing that in the future. But, um, next time I am going to bring a Rune Crossbow and Black Dead Body, I think, and an Accumulator. Just see if I can pull off a few prime kills at the same time. I'm not sure if my range level will let me kill it fast enough where it doesn't respawn, but yeah, food is barely a necessity when you do this. I think I went like the past like five or six kills without using any uh, food, so yeah, that's pretty good. Aside from the troll drops, pretty good trip overall. Okay, so my test was a failure. Didn't work. Uh... I barely did any damage to it. I guess my range level is just not high enough. I can just sit here and like chip away at it at long range and maybe get like one kill per task if I really wanted to, but yeah, I don't really see myself ever being able to. I also attacked it at the wrong spot, so I have to use long range if I don't want Supreme to aggro me, so yeah, definitely not doing this in the future. Okay, got quite a bit luckier this time. As you can see, all they wasted two summer pies. I'm using summer pies because I mean, I have a bunch of them, so yeah, might as well use them. Um, I think this is going to be my last trip for the task. I'm just going to, I guess, just do this one more trip, and then if I don't get anything, I'd like to at least get, like, a Dragon Axe or something. Just, I don't know, something from this. Uh, I think it's a 1 in 40 chance that you're going to get something. I think each drop is a 1 in 120. Wait, no, that's not how that works. Never mind. But anyway, it is a pretty good chance that you should get something, so hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get lucky. Well, as you can see, hit 83 magic on this kill, and, uh... Yeah, that's pretty cool. I can now make Barrow's Teleport tabs without boosting, so that'll be really useful. I'm probably going to do a bit more Barrow's in this episode as well. Uh, doing this without a Varric Skirt is just, like, hurting me a lot, because I could be a lot more efficient. Okay, it's going to be the final kill of the trip for the <laughs> Ring of Life. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm going to try to stay for one more kill. This is just a sign, but I don't think I'm going to because I'm poisoned. I have nothing to cure it, and I only have one pie, so I'll, I'll try. Okay, this is going to be close. I, uh, I'm completely out of prayer, so I'm taking mage hits here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I keep splashing. Come on. All right, that's a good hit. Come on, one more. All right, one more, like, 100 XP drop. 75, that's probably not enough. Nope, one more. Okay, I think that's the kill. Awesome. Please be a berserker ring. Damn it. Okay, well, uh, two rings of life so far, like two or three rune axes, a bunch of loot paths, yeah. Rough start to the DKs. Um, I'm probably going to do a bit of either Barrows or I'm just going to go back to Slayer for a while, but yeah. Uh, that was a 21 kill trip, so yeah, that was very good. I will definitely, unless I can manage to pull out full Guthans from Barrows, which I will try to get, obviously, um, but... Damn it. Unless I can uh, pull that out, I'm gonna have to. I don't even know. I'm gonna have to do something else. I'm gonna gonna have to use blood blitz because I mean that's the only way that I can stay there long enough to survive anything. And like, yeah, I don't. I don't really want to uh, do that if I can do four kill trips or whatever. So yeah. Okay, first chest in forever. My Torag's body actually degraded. Blood runes. Okay, chest number one eighty nine. Varix plate skirt, there we go. Yes, finally, 
Oh, I am so relieved. That is amazing. That's like the third best item I could get. I'm thinking Gelfin Salomon Spear would be above that, but... Oh, that is amazing. I can't believe it. I That's like the one item I've wanted, and 189 chests. We finally got it. That is amazing. Okay, chest number 189 for the back-to-back. -back. Nope. Okay, chest number 200. Nothing. Well, with that, guys, we've now reached 200 Barrows chests. Got the main item that I was really, really looking for. It's going to help out so much with Slayer. Um, and yeah, I got my fire cape, got a lot of stuff accomplished this episode, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. I will see you guys in the next episode, probably going back to Slayer and trying to work towards the 80. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy, and I will see you later. Peace.